I'm going to tell you a story in two parts. Part one is I was being intimate and my partner reached into our bedside drawer and grabbed a whip. Uh, I don't have this whip anymore. I wish I could show it to you, but you'll have to just imagine it had a long black plastic handle and then several like rubbery stringy whip things at the end. And what happened next, I will never forget for the rest of my life. But you'll have to wait until the end of the video to find out what that is. Oh, it stings. They want to know now. Hang on, because this video is all about how to be dominant. And this is exactly a perfect example of how someone dominates. They tease. They take control. Welcome to Mistress Caitlin's School of Dominance, puppies. Sit, because we are about to get started. Why would you, as a man, lover of women, want to be dominant? Well, dominance is one of the most praised traits and one of the most sought after traits in the masculine, in men. It is surprisingly arousing, at least I can speak from my own experience, to be with a man that displays dominance in the bedroom. However, if done wrong, can be downright embarrassing and can really make you look foolish and clumsy and can actually do some serious damage. And I don't just mean like personally, it could hurt her if you do it wrong, but it can do some damage to your reputation and to your sex life. So it's very important that we get this right. And the truth is, it's not as hard as you might think. To be dominant, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do it. Why else be dominant? It's hot. It's primal. And for men, such as with premature ejaculation, you can actually use this to structure a sexual event to your favor. So you might have to take a break or something and you can use dominance in order to maintain control of the situation. But here's the most important part and why dominance is so sexy to us as women is that it shows that you're taking 100% responsibility for our well-being. And if you're not ready to take 100% responsibility for our well-being, then you're not ready to be dominant in bed. It is literally the only requirement for everything else is that if you're going to be the dominant one, you have to watch out for her well-being. She has to know that she can trust you 100%. I'll tell you how to do that. The reason that this is so hot is that it allows us as women to get out of our thinking brains. This thing up here, yeah, it's true that it's your largest sex organ, but it's probably also your largest anti-sex organ. I can talk myself out of anything. I've straight up talked myself out of an orgasm while I was having it. This thing can get in the way of primal sexual pleasure. And when you are being dominant, you're taking away my need to think. You're taking away my need to consider what am I doing next? How am I doing it? Does it feel good? Da, da, da. You're taking charge. You're taking 100% control of the situation and total responsibility for me. This thing can turn off and everything else can turn all the way on. And I'm talking like primally, gutturally, wild woman all the way on. But how, you ask? How, Caitlin? Because dominant seems like it's, it's just for the alphas. It's just for the gorillas. It's just for the chads of the world. The chads are the dominant ones. I say, nay, you need not be a chad in order to be dominant in bed. In order to get that wild woman screaming orgasms, eyes rolling in the back of her head, ah, drool coming out of her mouth. You don't need to be a chad to make that happen. You don't even need to be confident to be dominant. It's a skill and you can learn it, and here is how. Number one, you must know that there are two different types of dominance, physical and psychological dominance. Now, I am only going to give you a very, very, very surface level amount of information on how to be physically and psychologically dominant. If you want more, then you can check out my course, She Comes Too, because I included a whole bonus training on how to be dominant in bed, but I wanted to give you a little taste. So physical dominance looks like using your physical strength to either restrain or choke or impact her, such as by spanking or using a whip, like the one I mentioned earlier. Now there's a right and a wrong way to do all of that, and you can actually injure her if you do it the wrong way. So please, before you try any of that, do some additional research. Now psychological dominance, which is part 
do is a little bit easier because you do not need to be physically skilled or know how to say tie ropes or do a blood choke and not an air choke. And if you don't know the difference, go look them up before you try. Psychological dominance includes things like command, like take your clothes off, get up against that wall, put my in your It also includes language, language that you might not otherwise call your woman in a polite setting, like You get the picture. And then finally, you can use role play. So you can play different roles like teacher and schoolgirl or master and slave. The world gets so broad when you get into what's psychologically dominant and psychologically kinky. We can't even begin to scratch the surface here today. But here are the two skills that you need to master in order for your dominance to come off as authentic, believable, and not make her want to giggle and not have sex with you, which is unfortunately what can happen if you get this wrong. There's two key components and they are confidence and creativity. Now I said a minute ago that you don't need to be that confident to be dominant and that's true. You can fake it until you make it and here's how you fake it. Figure out what you are going to do in advance and then practice it by yourself in the mirror. Notice how my voice changed when I said, take off your clothes. It's deep, it's low, it's resonant. If you try saying that for the first time when she's present and she's naked in front of you and you're a little nervous, it's gonna come off as, take off your clothes. Not hot. Practice it, practice it, practice it. Practice it while you're driving. Practicing it while you're brushing your teeth. Practice it in the shower. Practice it when you're alone. Practice it when you're masturbating. Take off your clothes, take off your clothes, take off your clothes, take off your clothes, take off your clothes and leave them in a pile on the floor own it. If you practice, you don't have to be confident in your ability to be dominant because you're confident in your ability to deliver the commands of dominance and that will make you confident in your dominance. The second skill that is needed to be dominant is creativity. You see, being kinky, playing in the taboo, being dominant is not actually about owning toys, being great at spanking, like those are great things, but dominance is really about being creative. And the way that you can do this is to actually sit with and plan out a whole scene, including the commands, before you are even with your lover. So you practice in the mirror, I'm going to tell her to take off her clothes and leave them on the floor. I'm gonna tell her to kneel down. I'm gonna tell her to open her mouth. Then I'm gonna tell her to walk over to the wall and put her hands up against it and not let them fall, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The more time that you can give to planning, the more prepared you will be and the more creative you can get. And there's something really important that goes along with all of this is that you're not being dominant from a place of trying to take power away from this person. You're not being a douche canoe and just telling her what to do. You are going to be rewarding her the whole time. Each command that she does successfully, you're going to come up and whisper in her ear, oh, you've made so happy, you little you're going to fill her up emotionally, letting her know that you're making her happy. This is how you get her brain to relax is because she's gonna wonder, did I do it right? Does he like this? Is this going well? Am I da -na 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 -na? What? Should I like that he called me that word? You continue to reinforce for her that she's doing good, that this is hot, that you're enjoying it, et cetera, et cetera. And that way you will continue to give this exchange of energy that's going in both directions, this exchange of power that's going in both directions. And you continue to let her know that you are taking 100% responsibility for her well being so she can continue to relax. All right, now the moment that you have all been waiting for what happened with that whip? Well, as I mentioned before, it had a long, slender, black plastic handle, and then the whippy, dangly, there's probably a proper name for that, on the end, and instead of taking it out and whipping me with it, which is what I imagined he was going to do, he took the long plastic bit and put it in my mouth. That, my friends, is epic creativity. You have all of the tools at your disposal already. It's just a matter of getting creative about how you use them. And being dominant and practicing with power play is a beautiful place for you to experiment and bring your creativity into the bedroom. Now, if you want more where that came from, 
and I know you do, you're gonna have to check out my course, She Comes Too. It includes amazing bonus videos, not just on being dominant, but how to use sex toys as your personal toolbox, how to make her squirt, amazing anal, not to mention that the actual course itself is all about being an amazing lover to women. You've got a 60 day money back guarantee, so go check it out. I don't know what you're waiting here for. Click the link in the description, and while you're down there, if you wanna give your girl a thumbs all the way up, please do that. Otherwise, class dismissed puppies.